the standing ovation here again with another break and what you're seeing in front of you is the last of my OPG Platinum uh, I didn't know what to do with what I had left I was gonna sit on it and I thought you know what let's just rip it out get it out there and uh, if I need more I can get more because I know this summer there's uh, lots of deals to be had and it seems like everything's gone down in price after release so after picking up a case of platinum blasters this is the last five boxes in the case and I only did pick up three hobby boxes but Technically, these are the five of the last seven packs of platinum. I have two more packs sitting in another break ready to go for another video. But, um, yeah, so let's see what happens. I, I Again, I've had a lot of fun with platinum. This year's uh, later products, Ice, Platinum, SPA, I've not hit anything really big for the amount I've ripped. I was kind of thinking by now I would have hit, you know, one jackpot card. But I can't really complain because I did have a big hit this year in my cup opening. So, so there's that. But, I mean, whatever. As part as products go, there's a lot that Platinum has in it, and the retail is only a little bit different than the hobby, as the hobby has uh, orange checkers in the retro design. And, of course, the autographs are a lot easier to hit in a hobby box. But uh, I'm really not after the hot autographs. Hey, where's my knife? Where's my sharp object? Uh, well, I, who, I'm sure I'd love a cool Caulfield autograph. I'd love, but, you know, most of the autographs are guys that, you know, I'd rather have their SP Authentic Future Watch, probably. But, you know, some of them are nice, like the Zegris would be cool to get a color match, perhaps, or something. Like, I don't know if there is an Emerald Surge. That would be a really good one. Who knows? Like, Platinum Blasters really don't produce a lot of high content, but they do produce the odd surprise from time to time. So hopefully with one of these last five, I get something really exciting. Because I won't spoil the other breaks, because I've listed them all. Uh, and again, I've probably put this up after all of those have been opened. So you'll know that... There wasn't a whole lot that came out of the blasters, um, and I'm hoping that one of these five will reveal a deep, dark secret that the case was holding. Uh, the way it works down to is about one in four cases have an autograph, and there's no guarantee that it'll be a parallel or just a base autograph. Um, and again, the hobbies, again, one autograph per box. Uh, but then at a case, a 12 box, or sorry, I think it's an eight box case, uh, one or two of those autographs might be named players. The other two are, or other six are going to be yeah nobody you really care about but let's go let's just fill in the holes that i got oh yeah i forgot to mention these are mass if you already watched all these you know these are mass not per target not blast or, or um, walmart so the yellow surge is what the neon yellow surge here we go zegris eckland marky rookie that photo driven insert i got a few of those completed by now and a base classic neon yellow neon dries idle yay dries idle it's looking at prices of his PSA 10 right now. There's a few of them available under, you know, prices in the summer are the good time to buy sometimes, but I don't know how much you'd want to spend on his PSA 10 with all the new grading that's coming out there. I like that tag. I've seen them. I haven't used them yet, but I like the idea of a, maybe AI is good for something after all. We can grade our cards consistently. There's Capo Cackle. Jackson Cates, Marquee Rookie with a Beauvillier base. And I got a rainbow Prozvedov. A uh, rainbow of Prozvedov. Okay, Marky Rookie Rainbow. Rookie. Rainbow. Cool. It's always good to get rainbow parallels, especially when they're rookies. Okay, blaster number one. Show me the money. I haven't, like I say, I haven't seen a numbered card coming out of every blaster, but most of them are producing either one numbered card or one pink mat, which technically is as rare i think as uh 199s the red prism they're but i don't know maybe they're a little bit more common than those there's gensel byfield sweet selection and pd let's just put my non-exciting bases there okay well my third parallel i've got a neon yellow a matte pink and a rainbow we go with our second neon yellow coming up. Comtois base, Oliver Gruel, rookie, and Trocek. And it seems from the break you're getting one marquee rookie per pack. You get two neon yellows per blaster with one marquee rookie. And who knows what your other parallels are going to be. Hardman. Marquee rookie rainbow, or uh, neon yellow surge. I want to put everything in the wrong pile. Just instinctively I go to the wrong spot every time. Every time. It's like me, I always took a different way to get home, if I could. Darnell Nurse, okay, well, we got at the back of this one, we got double color. We got Pavelski first, base, Nurse base, 
Kopitar numbered at a 499 and a neon yellow Marner. A couple of nice hits there. 429 of 499 for the Kopi and a very off cut neon yellow. It does seem like a lot of the neons I've been pulling are off cuts as well. Like gold peachy platinum. Like my th thoughts are they left all the off cuts in there to give you something to chase because they are so common. I mean, the I can't tell you how many marquee rookies I have now from the amount of rip. But to go through them all and try to find nice centered ones is, if you are into grading, maybe that's why they did it. I think that is why they did it because I'm pretty sure they can screen out all the off cuts. They they don't do it on purpose. I just think they don't they don't cast them aside. This is a bandage ad. Because really, if you found a nice, if you put together a perfectly centered set of platinum from this year, you've accomplished something, like, substantial. Zach Jones. See, that's a nice centered one. Still a little top center, off, like, off by the top bottom, but the middle is very, very centered in the middle. So that make no sense whatsoever. Left, right is, cent is pretty good. Top, bottom is not so much. Rupe. Hints. Retro. And connect me. Travis, connect me. Okay, well, let's go into our first. I'm going to do that. One blaster, one hobby for the whole break because I got five of each just because it works that way. Okay, three base with three rookies and inserts and then base at the back again. There, here we go. Got to remember the way they designed these 12 packs, 12 card packs. Willie, again, always the rumor of a trade. Matthew to Chuck with his mouthpiece and. Bjorkstrand with the Kraken now. Robertson, great year he had. Line A, let's see what his season's like coming up. Suzuki with a whole bunch of new young talent to play with. Josh Anderson, retro. Mr. Anderson. There's a sunset. Lindholm. Lecision, rookie. Spencer Knight, rookie. And they had a hot magma. Nelson and... The Aho photo driven thing, which nobody cares about. Four ninety nine of four ninety nine, the ultimate hot magma Nelson card. Rock Nelson, that's cool. I like number ones, and I like number last numbers, and I like jersey numbers. Like I think we're all like that. Okay, retro. I don't have a sunset yet. What do you know? Well, there we go. There's the sunset pile. Pull the base right out of here. Blaster number two. There we go. I'll try to get this done with a bit of efficiency. All right. My camera is probably going to shut off halfway through this because it's so hot in here right now. Very hot day in the summer. Hope you're enjoying your summer wherever you are. You get a little bit of a break. Okay. Here we go. Blaster number two, which is technically blaster number six. 16, or 17, sorry. Seven, okay, Kadri and first die cut. Platinum die cut and Taves base. Neon yellow, Palat. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the amount of blasters I've hit now, ripped now, I, I can kind of see a bit of a pattern to how they're built, but... Still waiting for a surprise. Like I like getting the insert right on the top, although they just sus suspect the damage sometimes when they do that. There's a rainbow Tessier. Klingberg now with the Maple Leafs. They got five guys this free agent summer. Barboule. With a Magma D Boss. 287 of 499. Yeah, what do they got? Klingberg, Domi from the Dallas there, and then they got Ryan Reeves. I mean, they got tougher. They got Tyler Bertuzzi now. Who am I forgetting? They signed somebody else, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Take it easy. Kadri. Steen, retro rookie. Kucherov, base. Keaton Middleton. Neon Yellow Surge. Keaton Middleton. I don't know much about Keaton Middleton. And... I'll learn. I will. Okay, Pacioretty. He's just signed with uh, Washington, I believe. Wade Allison, marquee rookie. Sunset. William Carlson and his Stanley Cup. 
with Cole Caulfield's Sweet Selections, who turned the lights out on him. And then, yeah, not a high-end insert, but Cole Caulfield, very popular name right now. He's the king of the 21-22 poles. Still, Batherson, Oshi, Cole Perfetti, Marky Rookie, being a popular player in Winnipeg. With a Zach Hyman, Neon Yellow Surge. There's a nice centered one for a change. Again, still not perfect. But darn good looking for a Hyman Parallel. A Hyman Parallel, yeah. 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 Okay, last pack in this blaster is got Couturier Quick, who just signed with uh, Rangers, Tice Thompson, and a retro past the man. Okay, let's see how this hobby pack goes. Moving right along, we got three at the back. Whoops, there's Suzuki die cut. Not too excited about any of these non-numbered hits. The inserts don't do anything for me at all. They should have made them, again, I always say, make them a little bit more challenging to build the set. They're just so thrown in there. Here, here's some extra cards. Konechny. Vlasic, Beauvillier, Comtois, Pacioretty, and Batherson with Sean Monaghan back, way back when he was still a Calgary Flame. Rainbow. Stunich. I believe he's with Dallas now. Parker Kelly and Kelniak with a hot magma. Sagan. 313 of 499. Okay, blaster number three or 18 in the case. Still counting them down to hit the big one. Hitting the big one. Okay. Let's get that thought out of my head. And put that one in there. Okay, better. And, whoops. I should actually, that was better up there. My, man, my hand just wants to go for those hobby packs. So bad. So bad. So bad. Latang, Petey. Joy Keen, retro rookie of the Jeff Petrie. Retro. Laffy, Jake Gensel, Neon Yellow Surge. I like the color matches for the Penguins. Die Cut, Marchand, and that's all you're getting. We're ripping you off by one. This definitely has an extra pack card in this pack. <clears throat> you can just feel it busting out of the pack. Get out of the pack. There's our base, plus one. Konechny, Pavelski, and Vlasic. We've got a Greenway, way off centered rainbow. A Lundell, Marky Rookie Rain, or a Hot Magma, which is cool for Florida, because they're it's like Hot Magma down there. And Brett Murray, Retro. 326 of 499. Very good player right there. Very good. Very good indeed. I didn't bring out the stands. I may have to do a cleanup. I'll bust out the stands again, but so far, I'll keep my piles going. Domi. Now a Maple Leaf. Okay, he's played for everybody. I'm pretty sure he's going to have a jersey from every team by the time he retires. I don't know. Maybe he'll just stay a Leaf now. Rowan Yossi. Marky Rookie. Retro. No, it's where the Retro came in. Joshua Dunn. Jackson Cates. Neon Yellow Surge. Marky Rookie. Okay, well, I'm just saying looking for something. Please, something in this case of blasters. Just something really, really good. I did have a nice hit out of uh, the Reds. Zuccarello. But that doesn't count. We need something really low numbered. Ryan O'Reilly. Kopitar and Walcott. And having said that, I mean, I don't know how, what your odds are hitting a Cosmic <clears throat> or a Seismic Gold or an Arctic Freeze. And I really didn't look at it, but I did see them on the box. Red Prism, Emerald Surge, Golden Treasures, Matte Pink. Okay, well, I just learned something there. I do not see Neon Yellow Surge. Ah, uh, okay, I get it now. You can't hit Arctic Freeze. You can't hit Seismic Gold. And you cannot hit um, Orange Checkers. Although it just says Hobby Only on the website. I don't see anything about the Arctic Freeze and the Seismic Golds. But the Emerald Surges are there. So, there's that. So, I guess I'm looking for that Emerald Surge or the Autograph. I thought you'd get a Gold out of here. But I didn't. And you can't, apparently. So my hopes have been dashed. You'd think by 
you know, the 18th box in the blaster, I would have learned that by now, but uh, I'm just blindly going at it here. I, I was trusting the website that Cardboard Connection provided me with failing information, which isn't the first time. Whole end. Lindholm. And a Quinn Hughes. Very nice. Local boy around here. Popular player. Even though he's from Orlando. Did not know that. Maybe I did and I'd forgotten. Probably more likely. Okay, here goes the hobby pack. These things are just so thick when you've been playing with all these blasters. Thin packs. You get these one of these fat boys and you really feel like you're, you're holding on to something. A couple of double D cups or something. Whoops, sorry. That's uh, TMI. Uh, Nieder Rider, Tessier. And I know there's probably only one or two girls watching. Sorry to be so man-like. Olaf's and Tessier. But I mean, really, what's wrong with comparing something heavy with... Okay, just stop talking about it. Let's go. Henrique. Hall. Doc. Lundell. There he is again. Retro. Sillinger. Marky Rookie. Rayunen. Marky Rookie. And Riley Damiani. Marky Rookie with a sweet selection. Ross Colton, who is now a Colorado Avalanche. And there's Seth Jones as a matte pink. Okay. Okay. What happened here is... I got an extra hobby out of the deal. I, I just ripped off. See, I've lost track now what I'm doing. Blaster number 19, four in this break. Hopefully, I'll get through this without cutting myself and hitting a big card. All right, the pile is getting bigger below me. There's wrappers, there's boxes, there's small furry animals crawling around down there. We got Kerfoot. Hey, look at that one. That's really shiny. Very, I'm in awe. It's shiny and I like shiny objects. Where's Kerfoot going to end up? He still hasn't signed with anybody as, as of this morning. As far as I know. Every time I look at it, it's wow. It's but Johnny Bedsheets. And he's got to start playing like... The whole career he's been touted. Highly touted player. But he has not done... All of what he's supposed to do by winning a Stanley Cup for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm sure he dreamed about it when he was in those bed sheets. Make the dream happen, Johnny Boy. Maybe traveling will help you with all these signings of tough guys. Petrie, Kirsted, Jonathan Taves, or Kopitar. Yeah, I think he's retired. Retired. Again, not official. They don't do it usually in the middle of the summer. Sometimes. Oh, there's the message on my camera. It's going to shut off. It's so hot. Well, the lights are shutting out, too. Let's see if I can get her done. Robertson, retro, with a Josh Norris base. Just moseying along here, smoking through these packs. And there was a day when this would have been a two-hour break for me. Larkin. Debrinket, photo-driven. Hey, even upside down, I recognize that guy. Flurry is the base card, but neon yellow, slightly off cut. Again, we've seen most of them like that, but cool. There's a big machine line through the middle of them, right across his knees there, too. Can definitely get a better copy of that one out there, but still a nice parallel to have. I just got to remember to mark that, note that when and if it goes up on eBay. It's not a perfect copy, folks. Okay, we got some pixelation going on, but Max Domi. There's Tavares, another shiny one. That's cool. I got them both. Burrows, Marky Rookie, with the pixels of D Boss. Look at how well centered that one is. Violent Pixels. They're violently pixel. Actually, isn't Violet Pixel a Russian female rock band? The Violet Pixels? I don't know. Violet Pixels and the Hot Magma. I think that's the name of the band I created there the other day when I was on somebody uh, from Dynasty's page. I went and threw a silly comment down. Okay, well, I just dropped a pack and mixed my stacks. Come on, come on, smart talk. Just turn up, come over here, turn around, I'll smack you in the back of the head. Okay, Zuccarello, Bor Morgan Marin, Morgan Baron, Holtz, Marky Rookie Rainbow. I keep calling these neon yellows rainbows. It just flows off my crazy mouth. Marky Rookie Rainbow. Yeah, look at all these 
Let's switch to file the pull pile position. The pull position. Pretty good so far, but again, from the amount of rip, geez, purse creepers. And you know what? To be honest, I'm pretty sure I've hit the auto out of this hobby box anyway. So the only shot for an auto I'm going to have is either that last blaster sitting over there with the smirk on Austin Matthews' face. He's looking the other way. I can tell. He, he, he doesn't want to admit there's no auto in there. If he would just start talking to me like a little Harry Potter thing. And, hey, you're going to lose in this box. Don't buy me. What am I talking about? Holy cow. It's so hot in here. I'm starting to go a little bit. Well, I'm going a little bit more. Whack, wackadoo. Drew, sunset. Okay, here we go. Prozvedov, Raymond, and Caulfield. Yeah, Caulfield. Let's put you up top. And Marchand thing there, and the last base cards. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Last blaster. 20th blaster in a case. You know what, for the price, I might just grab another case, because unless the price has gone up, maybe it's gone down, if they're still available. This was a lot of fun. Although I might get some repetitive content complaints, because how much platinum can a guy go through without having people start to have deja vu all over again? Marshan, like that. Retro? I don't even know what to call them anymore. I'm just calling everything retros and rainbows. That's a sunset. Jonas Rosberg, Rongsberg, who was not part of the cup-winning team, so who knows where he is. Josh Dunn and Varlamov. Okay. Shabbat. Landy Skog. I wonder if we'll ever see him play the way he used to. He had a lot of health problems there. Still is recuperating. Walcott with the Nadelkovic, who just signed with not the Red Wings, I can't remember, but he did sign with somebody very recently. There's so many. i got to go back to the draft page and the, then the free agent signing page, and holy cow. The whole league just traded themselves, almost. Latang, Lind, Wierenski, and Taylor Hall, who is no longer with the Bruins. I'm not providing you with much more info other than... He signed with somebody, not the Bruins. So there's 31 other places he could be. There. I've narrowed it down for you. You do the rest. Laffy. Mike Smith. Neon Yellow Surge. I think I pulled a few colors and parallels of Mike Smith there. Joey Keane with a die cut of Panarin, the bread man. And two to go. Looks like this blaster was a... Autoless case, which, I mean, this case was an autoless, what am I trying to say? There's no autos in the case of blasters I ripped, which is going to be the case for most people. One in four, I believe, will give you an autograph. Hopefully you got one of them. Gensel, Rainbow. You'll see. With a Brett Murray, Marky Rookie. Okay, last pack in the case of blasters. And I don't have any more of these hiding around, so this is it. We're all counting on you. Oh, good luck. Okay. Nickish, Netches, Byfield. With a Lindy Holm. Lind Holm. And Mark, Marky, rookie. Yes, Dion Yellow Surge. Shane Pinto. Pretty good one to finish on. I'd like to have more well centered cuts on these, but I understand that's not part of the game with platinum. Okay. Well, all in all, the big hits in this rip. Oh, I still got one pack of hobby there. It might get outdone, but that D boss and the Lundell, I think, were pretty good. Another D boss there, and I had some good rainbow hits too. The Tavares, the Gensel, Tavares, Monahan, Tejier. One rookie though. I thought I'd get another one there. Seth Jones, Gensel. A couple of Gensel hits. Let's do the neon yellows. We've got rookies of Holtz and Pinto. Cates, I should have two more, right? Middleton and Hardman. With Smith, Nedeljkovic, McDavid, the big one there. Again, too bad about the, and the, eh, and the, eh, and the, whatever. Taves, Hughes, Gensel, Hyman, Palat, Marner, and Dreisaitl. So some really good Oilers hits there. 
Marner's all right. Where was the Gensel? And I got a Hyman in there. Lots of Oilers. The Gensel with the Gensels. So about tough. Not too bad. Uh, that, yeah, oh, well. Could definitely have been a lot better. But it wasn't the worst. And this will finish me off. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please, if you haven't and you're still with me, tap that like button. Check out all my other videos. And subscribe to the channel. And let's see. Couturier, Kadri, Demko, Latang, New Hook, Marky Rookie. Him and Caulfield are going to have some fun this year. With God, Dora Five, Jeremy Davies, Laffy, Useless Insert, with a Matt Pink, Ronberg. Okay. Well, I did get a rookie in the Matt Pinks, even though it's some guy I've never heard of. Trocek, Oshi, Quick. Well, all in all, all in all, all in all, there's a lot of fun ripping. <clears throat> I got a ton of sorting to do. I'm pretty sure I built at least one full set of platinum out of all the ripping I've done. And be watching for a little bit more, because I know I can't keep my hands off this stuff. I'm actually looking for some of the 1920 and 2021 platinum. I do have a little bit of it left, but I... Yeah, I'm not going to rip what I got till I find a little bit more. That's just the way I am. But this is everywhere, and I might just go and... I don't know, we'll wait and see. Do the blue blue surges hit Walmart shelves? And if I can get some of the red surge boxes from Target down in the States, I just might do that too. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Keep on collecting. Standing ovation out.